Okay, uh, here we are in Peru, in Lima, and uh, Nick and I are, we've had a long day and, and uh, we're just talking about the incredible things that God has done since uh, we arrived and what happened today in the Congress. But, uh, so I was telling, uh, so Nick and I thought we'd just pull a table off to the side inside the restaurant here, uh, just to share with you guys a little bit. We're gonna have a long day tomorrow, and Sunday, and then we fly back Monday. But uh, so, so what happened today? What do you think? Why don't you share it? Talk about it. Well, it was a life change. We didn't really expect what we were getting into today when we walked into Congress. But it was way beyond what we could imagine. What happened today? I mean, just. I mean, like the we walk in and we this incredible building. Yes. Yeah. The, the chandeliers that were. Oh gosh! The mural, gold, and yeah, it was amazing. The honor guard, the honor guard. Yeah, yeah. they had an honor guard. It's incredible. But, and uh, yeah, um, they took us back into a, a chamber back where the they have. It was called the ambassador's room. Oh, the ambassador's room. Okay, yeah. where they pretty much just uh, bring in the congressmen, have private meetings, and well, it's where all the ambassadors of the, of the right. different nations come and have their meetings. Right. We were in while we were having our meeting ten feet away from us. The, yeah. the, Canadian, the Canadian ambassador was there. Thank you. The Canadian ambassador was there. Yes. Right? Yep. And then there was some oil yeah. CEOs, presidents, yes. president. Yeah. Yep. I mean, big, big industry things, you know, tycoons, I yeah. guess. But uh, what took place spiritually was incredible today. Oh. Just, Dude, I don't want it to sound self serving, so I want you to share briefly <laughs> what you observed and what God did. In, and, oh, recapping it, it's yeah. just, there was too much. There was so much. Um, so there was a few pastoral leaders that invited us in to uh, meet one of the congressmen. Uh, one of the congressmen showed up out of the, the four. But um, but the others had their, some of their assistants there. Yes, yes, yeah. some of their in their public their staff, relations right. people. And, uh, they had television there. They had television, yeah. photography. Yeah. Uh, we didn't expect any of that. And um, you were able to pour in to the pastors first, and then when the congressman came in, um, able to pour in spiritually yeah, wow. what he's going to be for this nation. And um, you have to clue it in. You say it a lot better than I do. <laughs> I'm just sitting back thinking, we're so tired right now. It's been an incredible pace, but... Um, We've been talking for a few hours anyways, our, yeah. just now, so... Yeah, we're so tired. Kind of, but um, we, were, we were able to be used of God to speak in to a leader of the nation. Yes. And to impact, I mean, we did not hold... I'm telling you, when I say 10 or 15 feet away from us, were all these dignitaries and the ambassador from Canada and other people. And there we were boldly. Yes. And I'm sure they could hear us proclaiming Jesus, Jesus. and giving prophecy and yes. speaking over the life and, and talking about the gospel and talking about accountability, talking about all the things. So openly. So openly proclaiming I mean. Jesus in that place. And then they take us into the Congress chamber. Yes. And we, oh. were, we were sitting in the location where the president sits and oversees the entire congressional hearings, um, and they, assemblies. They always insisted that yeah. we go and sit in their seats. Yeah. They made, yeah. You're going to see pictures of it and everything. Yeah. Oh. We, we took a lot of pictures, a lot of yeah. videos of the moment, so you'll see it. And we're going to post it tonight. They asked us to publicly pray on television. Yes. For, we were inside. The, we were inside. Oh, here's what I want you to do. I want you to try to imagine that uh, you're, you're in D.C., and we're, we're in the Congress, yep. and we are in the, the halls of Congress, and uh, there we are in the, in the congressional meeting room where they all assemble to vote, and in the Senate chambers, and we were there, yeah. in, here in Peru, proclaiming Jesus, yes. praying over the nation, being interviewed by television in there. And they asked us to, we didn't expect any of this. Oh yeah. And they said to openly pray for this, this parliament, this congressional uh, facility, and uh, for some of the leaders. And we did we not both have the same 
yeah, God really spoke to my heart, and I didn't know that he had spoken to, 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 this, to Nick's heart, that uh, this wonderful gentleman, that this congressman, we won't name him, uh, that we were able to meet with. He's such a humble man, and uh, a man who really loves Jesus. And yeah. We just knew that we were praying. He got on his knees, this yes. congressman, while in the presence of these ambassadors. And these we're other in people, the room. Okay, the same room. Yeah. And he's on his knees and praying over him, and we're weeping. Yeah. And God gives us a word of knowledge that this man one day will be president of that nation. Yeah. This is not as far-fetched. This is real. Yeah. You had to be there to appreciate everything we're talking about. Yeah, know? the brevity of the moment. Yeah. And uh, I mean, actually, what one of the— What was supposed to take for 30 minutes last for three hours? Oh, yeah. At we, least. I thought it was just going to be a 10-minute thing yeah, in there right. and hi and bye, pray for me, do your thing. And then, uh, no, we were there for three We were exhausted. And then they wanted to take us to the palace. Now, the funny part is yeah. <laughs> 10, million, yeah. 10 million people in this place. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. There had to probably, 10, in the city of Lima, 10 million people, I bet you there's not more than a dozen stoplights. This is absolutely the most insane driving experience. I would, that we, we were just. I'm gonna get Draymond mean next time. Oh my just, gosh. <laughs> if you were to see what was going on, man, you, you'd just be laughing. It uh, was incredible. Uh, you know, I was, if you wanna conquer fear, is to ride in the car with one of these guys in this city. But anyway, that's is, neither here nor there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, what was, uh, Oh, wait, what was it? Um, trying to... Yeah, so one of the oil presidents, the presidents of one of the major oil and he, industries. And he's a congressman. And he's a congressman in this nation actually interrupted us to come up yes. and ask him to pray for him yes. as well. And um, and just just the reception, the honor Everywhere we went, that they that gave us. I mean, building. just, they were treating us as uh, yes. oh man it was it was incredible and uh, you didn't know this but as we were walking out of the main parliament another official i don't know who he was he came up and he says uh yeah he said jesu cristo mi corazón in my heart he was saying in my heart and um he says thank you for coming he, wow. he was trying to motion said thank you for coming here uh to our nation and uh, he was just so humbled and so appreciative that uh, that people from America, just or ambassadors of Christ, came with no agenda other than to just bless this land and this nation as a whole, and to be servants to a nation. It was just a humbling experience altogether. So let me just tell you what's going to be happening tomorrow, Nick. Right? We just we didn't we're fighting all this yeah. is. A, we're, we just came, and uh, we had a general idea what was supposed to happen, yeah. but we're clueless as to the details. Yeah. Tomorrow we're hosting a luncheon here at this restaurant in the hotel, mm -hmm. and uh, there will be 13 leaders, uh, Christian leaders of the nation, who represent different denominations and churches, who are the presidents of, of these church organizations. We are conservatively going to be uh, having this luncheon. These individuals asked to meet with us. It's the first time in history that these 13 leaders have ever gotten together. Yes. And they were saying that thank God that we came and God has used us to bring these people together for the first time. And we're going to give you conservative numbers because we did not know this either. It was 30,000. 30,000. Conservatively. Yes churches that they oversee in this entire nation. They affect 30,000 churches. We I, found that in one of those crazy car rides we're, going back. We're, we're, we're ministering Sunday, I think Sunday or tomorrow night, in one of the in one of the churches, we're doing three crusade meetings. One of these pastors has just bought a soccer stadium. Himself. Himself. Yes. He literally bought the soccer stadium. It fits 15,000 people. Mark, and I mean, I'm just laughing because, you know, the favor that God is, uh, what He's bestowing upon us, to declare Jesus. Yeah. God trusts us with that, and to Him be the glory. Yeah. But what I want to say to you guys is this: because we're gonna go get some sleep. Um, 
this is such an incredible reward. I told Nick, we talked for hours this evening, how I'm so grateful that he came with me. Ob for the obvious reasons that I don't want to travel alone and all that kind of stuff. But there's a much deeper reason, is that he could see with his own eyes what I've been trying to declare to all of you for years on Skype, on Facebook Live, for what God is doing to the Jesus Center. That's why I want to keep asking you guys, and I ask you and ask you and ask you, to those of you who have sown, thank you. To those of you who said you, God told you to sow, sow and you haven't, I thank you that you're going to answer that. My prayer is that you will stand with us financially just by going to jesuscenter.us, go to the donate link on the home page. It says donate now, it takes you to PayPal. This is, I wanted, I'm so grateful that Nick was here to witness it. So you're not just hearing it from me. He is seeing the favor God has given us. Yeah. This is what, um, it's incredible. What Nations you, have opened up oh, to us the very least. Nobody knows about it, Nick. No. No one's pouring in thousands and millions of dollars into this. Yeah. But yet, literally, millions of people are being open to the work of God through the Jesus Center. I personally got to see what discipling a nation looks like today. Yeah. And what the greater works that Jesus spoke about was discipling nations. And to see that firsthand was for me, humbling, but truly life-changing. Uh, I mean, I'm just forever grateful just to uh, just to be in the room was uh, truly life-changing. And this is only the beginning. It really is. It's only the beginning, and God has a lot left for us this weekend and uh, and going forward from here. I really, really believe strongly in my heart that this is going to be uh, a turning point, not only for this nation, just for the direction and exactly yeah. where God's taking you. And Listen, I think maybe we can change the name yeah. of Jesus Center to Obscurity. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, we're laughing about it, but it's real. I want to encourage all of you that hey, are Artemis. watching. All of you that are watching. Hi, Artemis. All of you that are watching. You may think that no one knows, no one sees. You're not making an impact. You wanted to be used of God. I, I'm just, I want to encourage you that you're looking at an old man with his wife and blessed to have people like Nick around us that have continued on by faith in a small confines of a little condominium in Tarpon Springs, I don't know, in Palm Harbor, Florida, for years just being faithful, not giving up. I want to encourage you guys, don't quit. One day, when you least expect it, you can ask, you can do things that man will affirm you, or you can do things that God will affirm you. When you have God's affirmation, it's going to be, let me put it to you this way, William Penn wrote, no crowd, no cross, no crown. No cross, no crown. And what God has, we've had to bear this cross, of a ministry by faith, helping to feed, literally now, I just told Nick, we now are, I want to stand with the work that's taking place in the Philippines, that 600 children who are orphans are going to be, are being fed right now with through Pastor Vaughn's efforts of the Jesus Center, and we're beginning now to want to bring that on. We have the orphans in India, we have so much work going on in different nations, and now this nation of Peru at the highest levels of government. I have no idea where God's going to take this. Yeah. I have no idea. And, there's certain, and there were some discussions that took place that I'm not at liberty to say publicly. But I will tell you this. If you were to hear this, you would be overwhelmed with what God is doing. Mm -hmm. But God is allowing us to be a voice, a spiritual voice, literally into the heads of a nation. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. But yeah. listen, uh, we love you guys. Love we'll, get, you. we'll get back with you sometime tomorrow. We got a crazy schedule. Yeah. Pray that the angels go with us as we drive in these cars and this traffic. This is a joke. Oh, we're, getting, we're getting car sick. Oh. You know, uh, you're holding your breath for about an hour. The yeah. pollution is crazy. We yeah. got, but we got a nice inner condition. It's car. exciting. It's, it's exciting. exciting. Yeah. God's gonna we do love some you. incredible things. We love you guys, Mark.
Hey, Mark. Don't get Thanks, eaten guys. by a gator. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you.